What is going on Zone Nation? Ozone here and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video and today we're going to be doing another setup class video for the submachine gun and this class is going to be kind of like a running gun kind of setup. Now the gun you want is the Razorback. Now you're going to want all attachments unlocked. If you don't then you're going to have you're going to want them because what I'm about to show you is awesome. I dropped 50 to 100 plus games with this gun right here. So which we want is you want rapid fire. Now rapid fire helps the bullets spit out of the gun quicker, giving more bullet damage. And with this gun, it's not OP, but in Black Ops 2, if you put it on the Scorpion, the accuracy would shoot up because of the recoil. But with this gun, there's no recoil at all. So rapid fire, it does not make a difference from when you shoot the gun, but it makes a difference on killing people because it's quicker. And you're going to want grip. Grip is just hold down the gun a little bit, help with your accuracy, just in case you're starting out playing with it. But as you progress, you can take away grip and you can put on quick draw if you rather. But that's really up to you. But I use grip because I feel that it uh, helps me out a little bit. And we want extended mag. Now, this I feel like in this game, they give you just the amount of ammo to take on a lot of people. So if you put extended mag, you can just keep on shooting instead of having to stop and reload. Now, with extended mag, this, this class right here with these three attachments, this is good for domination, hardpoint, or safeguard. Now safeguard and domination because when you're running in to go for the robot or the flag is going to be probably a lot of people so with extended mag you're going to be having more ammo so you have more of a chance to kill a lot of people and the rapid fire helps the gun spit out more bullets and causing more damage now this gun right here kills a lot of people quickly a lot of people use this gun but i'm not sure about their, their attachments because i've seen a couple different ones like quick draw and stock but right here is this is what you want it's really good as you can see i got my own little camo on and you can't forget about your perks. Everyone is always like, oh man, I really want a good gun. What are the guns that I can use? Yes, guns are important, but everyone needs their perks. Perks are most important because what about everyone's lethals and stuff and how to get to someone? They're most important and everyone forgets about them. You need good perks to help you out in the game. Now, Afterburner is a really good one because it has thrusters have faster recharge rate, which means at the, at the, um, the bottom of the gun, there's going to be a little white bar that's on a little curve. And as you thrust jump, it's gonna go down, and then at one point you can't thrust jump anymore because it's gonna be it's gonna run out. But it's gonna recharge faster with this perk, so you can thrust jump more accurately and a lot more times than if you didn't have the perk. Which helps you when you're running on walls. If you're running on a wall and you run out, you just wait a little bit and then jump off once it recharges. Now, flak jacket's another big one because not that people are gonna have that level of flak jacket, so they're gonna be using a lot of semtexes and a lot of frags. Now. The frags and semtexes are really OP in this game. If you get the right hit, you will kill them instantly. If you can get it off a hit marker wall bang, then you're going to get hit marker. Or if you hit them, but they can dodge it away. But most of all, you're probably mostly going to get the kill if they have a frag or grenade. Now, I also use fast hands. It swaps weapons faster and aim faster after sprinting. Reset the fuse when throwing back frags or grenades. Now, this is also going to help you if they're throwing grenades. You can reset the fuse and throw them back and try to kill them off with their own grenade. And once you're done running, you want to get the quickest jump on them from aiming. See, if you don't have quick draw, if you put on this perk, it helps a little bit. That is why I balance that out. And lastly, I put on gung ho, hip fire your weapon, deploy equipment, and throw grenades while sprinting. Now, when everyone's sprinting, you can't just stop and then throw your lethals and tactiles. You want to keep on going and you don't want to stop running for any reason, especially when you're shooting someone. You want to be moving back and forth so that they have to keep a steady aim because if you're staying still like a stick, they're just going to kill you immediately because it's no challenge. Now, if you put on gung ho, you can hip fire when you run, and when, you, when you're running, you can throw grenades. Now this class setup right here is awesome. Like I said again, I dropped uh, 50 to 100 plus games with this. It's an awesome and it's extremely accurate. And if and it really melts them for assault. Like let's say they have assault rifle and using the submachine gun, you will melt them from a far distance. Just don't hold down that trigger. You want to tap it a little bit so the bullet can get out there, but you won't miss. And again, is my class setup. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and if you use this, tell me how you do it. I really want to know because I did really well with it. So, uh, hope you all have a good day, and peace out, Zonation.